Hi everyone, summer's around the corner. Now here's how you build awesome legs. What you do is you hook a TRX up to your car and this is actually how you build awesome legs. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to make a sled at home using your truck or car. So basically you need two tools. You need some carabiners, and a TRX. The grand total of this is about $50, but it's an excellent leg exercise. We've talked a lot about the importance of leg muscle. If you look at the rates of atrophy of your upper body muscle compared to your leg muscles, the leg muscle atrophies faster as you age, which is problematic, especially for women, because about 60 or 58% of their total muscle mass is in their legs. Now, we've talked about legs, how important they are for blood sugar health, metabolic health, Leg muscles actually become insulin resistant first compared to your upper body muscles. So this exercise is great. This is going to be an at-home sled using your car or truck. So here's what you do. You get your tow package and you get your two carabiners, okay? Again, I'm gonna save you $2,500. I love the company Torque Fitness, but their sleds are pricey. So you put a carabiner there, you put a carabiner there. Then you take the TRX and you pull it out and you hook it up like so. Now you could probably just get away with one carabiner, but it might pull the truck in different directions or pull your car. You could probably just put a rope under your rear differential if you don't have a tow kit. So the emergency brake is on, it's in neutral, all right? I'm just gonna share with you what we do before we actually start. So it's important to actually go from the side, okay? Imagine I'm going straight back, but you don't wanna arch your back like this. You want a nice neutral back. You wanna lock in those shoulders and where the movement is coming from the quad and the glute, okay? So you're just pushing and pulling back, okay? So we're gonna do that, do a few sets, and then I'm going to do the reverse to push the truck back to get it here. But it's an awesome exercise, I'm telling you. It's gonna build nice quads, nice glutes. So again, the vehicle, the vehicle is in neutral. All I have to do is take the emergency brake off. Okay, as I mentioned, what we're doing, we're not arching the back, we're just doing a toe like this. Now, again, at this angle, it seems easier because we're going downhill, but we're just doing a demonstration here. So for some people, this might be quite hard. You could throw your family in the truck if you want, make it a little bit harder, but you can see here, the idea is you wanna keep your knees bent. Your neighbors might think you're a total weirdo, which is probably true, but okay. So that was maybe 70 yards, okay? I'm gonna stop the car and then we're just gonna push it back. Now with this, with the pushes, you do wanna be careful if you have Achilles issues, if you're not used to this. Um, this can be hard for some people. But you can see this is harder because we're going uphill now. But. This is gonna be, in my opinion, harder than the torque sled, but it's good upper body strength. It's good for those quads. Whew. Now we'll take a break. We'll do it again. All right, so we're gonna do set number two, but because you saw it was a little downhill, I'm gonna go the other way and pull it. It's gonna be a little bit harder. Well, definitely harder, but I also wanna share with you just how you can do this from the front or the back. Let's say you have a vehicle that doesn't have a tow package like this truck. Most vehicles underneath have some sort of hook for towing, okay, or pulling. So that's what I'm gonna hook onto here with the carabiner. And again, so you can go from both sides. Now the only downside of just hooking it on one side or the other is you're gonna pull the car in a, in a different direction, but that's fine. We have the whole road to ourselves. I live on a dead end. So, so what do we do? We got everything ready? Remember, take the e-brake off because otherwise you're gonna be fighting the brake. So we're gonna take, take that off. The car is in neutral. Okay, and we are good to go. So, now you can see the car is in neutral. We're going uphill. That, otherwise it would, be, it would be moving, okay? So I'm actually gonna go barefoot, guys, um, because I'm not trying to like make it cooler for YouTube. I'm just seriously, I get better grip strength when I go Go barefoot, okay. So, you wanna start really low. I'm not arching my back, 
it's all quad, all quad, all glute. It's okay to pick up some momentum, you know, use momentum. You got a th couple thousand pound car, but you can start to feel the burn. So remember, this is uphill. It's a false flat. It's not a super steep hill. There's no way I could do this, but we'll go maybe 20 more yards. So you can see the truck rolling back. That's how you know we're going up a hill. It would not roll backwards if it was flat. So honestly, I was eyeing the Torque Fitness sleds, but I was like, $2,500, that's hard to justify, you know? And if I can do some makeshift at home thing and a gym that I go to has a sled, so this can be on days that I'm not going to the gym, throw this in there. I can already see my daughter would love to be in the front driver's seat like, hey, dad's moving the car, she could steer it. So in between sets, you might do three or four sets. You might rest a minute and 90 seconds. Remember, you're using your quads, glutes, hamstrings, calves. You know, your foot is making a nice stronghold, so it's good for your feet and circulation. Then it's good, you want nice tight lats. So we'll do one more set here, just to show you, I'm not an expert in this area, but just to show you the form, okay? You wanna get nice and low. You're not arching the back, okay? And the movement at first, see it's only by quads. So, you know, the knees over toes guy, We'll tell you all about how this is good. I don't know all the physiology, but this concentric reaction or contraction is good for those quads, good for the ligaments. You got the sun, can't complain. Okay, so concluding remarks. I can feel it in my forearms. I did a light warm up, you know, some bird dogs basically. But man, I can feel my quads. Like I can really feel them. Um, so for some of you that have low back issues or hip issues and you can't squat or that hurts your knees or whatever, you can start with a sled type movement. Because again, it's basically like a, a knee extension under way greater load. So you're already in that squat position. So if I had no time, like if I had 15 minutes and I wasn't sure what to do from an exercise standpoint, I would do this and in between I might do sprints or I could go on those concrete blocks right there and do some step up. So uh, easy way to get a nice hard workout in, just find a, a false flat or a flat-ish area for your car. And if you have a heavier truck like that, then you're good to go. But friends, as always, thank you for tuning in this video. If you end up doing this, please tag me over on Instagram, metabolic underscore Mike. Let me know in the comments what you think below. I'll put links to the TRX on Amazon. All of you should own a TRX anyway. I travel with it with a carabiner so I can hook it up anywhere in a park, anything like that. So as always, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in a future video down the road.